right. So welcome back to another episode. What's welcome up, back. baby? Welcome back. How's everything? How was your day today, by the way? My day was good. Good. So we made an ode. Now. We made an ode not to speak to each other throughout the day. That way we have content to talk about at night. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually don't really want to talk. I just want to eat. Yeah, no, no. I'm starving, especially after looking at these and then seeing what you went through and whipping these up yes. yesterday, as a matter of fact, which we actually had a little adventure yesterday. What was the name of the spot yeah. again that we okay. went to? Okay, so in the last episode, I mentioned 99 Ranch Market. However... Um, with our little decision to cook some dumplings, mm. we hit up H Mart, and now so what I'm is H Mart? H Mart is the Korean. Asian persuasion mm. supermarket. Mm, it's Korean, Japanese. No, it's Chinese. Korean. H Mart oh, just, is Korean. Oh, okay, like, yes. hence the K Town restaurant that's in yes. there. Yes. So wait, I thought that I thought that I saw a bunch of other things in there, like Japanese and all that. Ah, uh, yeah, they had different products, but the all supermarket, right. like H. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Mm. But I'm pretty sure it was just Korean, no? I don't know. I, know, I saw K-Town. And I could have sworn you told me yesterday that um the whole spot wasn't just Korean. I no, thought it's it was not. Just Korean. I know, like, the products are not, but I thought... Oh. Speaking of, sake. That's that's one of the reasons why is because yeah. sake is Japanese, isn't it? Yes, I think so. All right. But, yeah, so <clears throat> um, we decided to make some dumplings. I absolutely love dumplings mm -hmm. one of my favorite there's two things that i can forever eat off of the asian menu would be any type of noodle whether it's lo mein or ramen mm -hmm. and dumplings. dumplings but i'm pretty sure dim sum and falls into dumpling category maybe i wish i knew what dim sum was it's the well, yeah, they're all dumplings to me. But yeah, so anyway, so we decided to cook dumplings and we hit up H Mart. You whipped it up actually nicely, though. Talk a little bit about the ingredients you put in this one in particular. This recipe is so easy that you you can't mess it up even if you try. It's really, really easy, which is why I chose this one. I'm sure later, now that I've done this one, I'll get a little more experimental and daring, but... Very simple. So the filling is actually shrimp because my husband loves shrimp. Yes, I do. Um, cilantro. I know not everyone loves cilantro. It's so weird with cilantro that it all depends on your taste buds. To normal people, <laughs> it's delicious. But to those not so normal, I have a really good friend. She says that it tastes like soap. So what friend is this? Put her on blast. No, nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so from what I hear, the people that don't like cilantro, they all say the same thing. To them, it tastes like soap. So you could pick, I'm sure you could pick parsley or whatever you want, but we chose shrimp, mm -hmm. cilantro, garlic, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. That's it as far as the stuffing inside. Put it all in the processor, not cooked, raw shrimp. Put it in the processor, spin it around, and then that's it. Just stuff the dumpling wrappers and, you know, close it off with some egg wash. And then the sauce, the dipping sauce is the other thing that makes it. This one, again, very simple. You just mix up um, soy sauce, hot sesame oil, scallion, and sesame seeds, roasted sesame seeds. Yeah. That's it. Uh, you don't even have to heat it up, cook it, nothing. You literally just mix it. Oh, and I see Ruben has gone ahead and helped himself while I'm waiting here. Last episode, I know I just it was didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave. Didn't want to eat the fanesca. This one, I'm like, Rah. I didn't want to leave dead air. That's why, too. On top of that, you know, imagine we both stop to start eating, and all the hairs. <laughs> well, we're eating dumplings. It's possible. It is. Well, it was definitely amazing. Mm. Thank you. Next time we gotta try to fry them though. Um, sure. I'm not big on fried dumplings. No. I like them steamed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like fried. Okay. What I would want to add, even though you know what, because when I saw this recipe, I thought, why didn't she put ginger in the sauce? But I see now that with that hot sesame oil, mm -hmm. that's definitely why she didn't put any ginger in that recipe. Okay. All right. So this spot that we went to yesterday, though, I actually, 
I'm not gonna lie. I had fun just walking through the spot and just seeing everything in there. So like imagine was, how yeah. I felt in 99 Ranch Market. Yeah. This spot, like, I literally felt like, I definitely felt like I was outside of the country for a minute. Had it not been for the um, Americans walking around inside, it would have just been like, I would have felt like I was in Korea or China or Japan. But um, not bad, too, to pick the fresh shrimp that we did. What did we do? We did almost the same amount as a prepackaged. Yeah, um, so. A prepackaged uh, bag of shrimp, one. frozen shrimp. Twenty two dollars for two pounds. Mm -hmm. We got a pound and a half at six ninety nine a pound, and it was fresh. Um, I just had to. It didn't have the head. It came out to it what? Just eleven bucks. Eleven eleven. Remember, mm -hmm. eleven eleven. And I, obviously, I had to clean it, take the shell off, devein it, but that was fine. It wasn't bad. Overall, it wasn't a bad process. It was everything really together. easy, mm -hmm. which might be a bad thing because now I'll probably be stuck on cooking these all the time. Not a bad thing, though. We gotta make some veggie ones. Mm -hmm. Eventually, like what we spoke about um, on the last cast, definitely going vegan, veggie, eventually 100%. Even though for the most part, we do good now. It's just we, have, we do have our cheat days. Our cheat days are probably like every other day. We have a cheat day every other day, right? You probably think I'm sorry to stuff my mouth. I want to say every other day. No, I'm just playing. Oh, oh. You were supposed to laugh at that. Sorry. It's I'm hard sure to they tell when Ruben is playing or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, definitely weekends. Mm -hmm. But weekdays when we're working or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, let me speak for myself. I'm very on point with what I eat. No, yeah. No, I know. For the most part, we definitely are. No question about it. And I try to be consistent with my Peloton. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't get to jump on the Peloton with some type of You at least do your exercise. yoga and your rubber band exercises. I try whatever. <clears throat> I know in that last episode, I didn't look so... <laughs> you need to stop. And then it's Just not body shaming. You know what it is? So I don't want to say anything wrong because obviously the world is so sensitive. You have to watch what you say nowadays. Mm -hmm. But we... I've always been a tiny person until I wasn't, you know, having kids obviously changes your body. And before the pandemic, I worked really, really hard and busted my ass and losing like close to 40 pounds. And then pandemic hits. And I guess I think it's safe to say pretty much a lot of us, if not all of us, gained the quarantine 15 Plus, so I got to get back into it. I got to do it, you know, because that's what's good for me. So you see, you've done it before, so. Yeah, be but oh my God, this time around, I don't know why. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I'm older. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But... You're hitting that 40 peak. <clears throat> Thanks. I'm already over the 40 peak. I'm 25. Peak, so... don't, don't let him fool you. Yeah, make me seem like a cradle robber. <laughs> Actually, you know what I want to talk about, though? What actually inspired you to uh, go this route? Well, originally, we were supposed to go to 99 Ranch Market. Mm -hmm. But where are all my readers? To all my readers out there. Nerd <laughs> alert. Knows. Nerd alert. Major nerd alert. Well, not, I, and it's funny because I, I don't think I'm a major nerd because no. I don't have as much time as I would like to sit and just read a book. You know, it takes me a while to finish a book because of life. But anyways, so I'm currently reading, finally, because I know for the real nerds out there, this is an oldie. Not oldie oldie, but like, you know, when it was when it was first released, it was big. But I'm reading Crying in H Mart from Michelle Zahner now. And I'm absolutely loving it. What's the book about? It's a memoir. It just caught me because crying in H Mart. Yeah, because <clears throat> I don't want to ruin it for anyone who hasn't read it yet. Briefly. Okay. The. All right, you already said too much. Next. <laughs> Protagonist, the main star, going to. Okay, she's half Korean, mm. half American. 
and the Korean part comes from her mom. So I'm sure many of us can relate to having struggles as a teenager with your mom. She did. And, you know, they parted ways. She moved. And, you know, just her little H Mart adventures just bring her back to her mom. The times that to she home, spent. to her culture, making yeah. her realize that she wanted more of her culture to learn more of her culture okay. they actually do mention a lot of korean foods in there that i did have to google and look up they were right. really really interesting um so it is a good foodie book mm -hmm. but it's a it's good book so far <clears throat> all right how far along are you i am i'm on page 234 of a book of 395 pages Okay. 396 not bad. pages. You're not bad. Pretty good. So it's large print. <clears throat> it's an easy read. I'll be done with it soon. But yeah, so that H Mart, I was like, oh, I remember we had an H Mart in Hicksville, mm. but apparently they moved to Jericho. So I figured instead of going all the way to Jer um, Westbury, 99 Ranch Market, let's just go to H Mart. How would you compare that 99 spot to the H Mart that we went to yesterday? Is it similar or is it very. better? Oh, it is similar. Okay. It is very similar. So it's going to be like a Asian wonderland for us to go to then, mm -hmm. just like I felt yesterday. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Not bad. Yeah. What is it with these, um, the, the corn dogs? Remember the little kids were like oh freaking God, out yeah. over them? And then what what's up with that? That's also like a food craze that happened when they first started, which I don't even know at what point they came about. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't get to try the ones that we saw at K, what was it? K town, K Mart, K town yeah, in yeah. H Mart. <laughs> yeah. K town and H Mart. Um, but they have, well, that's actually, that's a restaurant in the supermarket. I don't even yeah. want to call it a supermarket. It's literally like a, a mini mall, almost a place. Yeah. Because they have beauty supplies. They mm. had clothes. Yeah. They had house stuff. <clears throat> they had everything. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, literally down to the point where they had Lay's bags of chips, Pringles, where it was all... It was the Lay's brand, Pringles brand, but then it had, I guess, the Lay's and, I guess, Korean or Japanese or Chinese, whatever language it was. Um, in different flavors. In different, different flavors, flavors and everything, so... I mean, I couldn't tell which one it is because, like I said, I think they had a little bit of everything in there. Yeah. Korean, they definitely Japanese, did. Chinese. But, yeah, so those corn dogs. Well, remember when we went to Smorgasburg? That's why I'm like, that's why it's hitting me because of Smorgasburg. Then we went to the International Food Fest the other day. Yeah. And then now seeing them there. Now, I, it didn't really hit me until the little girls looked at you and then they were like, they were, they were so like chanting. Cute. They were like, yeah, well, they had a picture of a dog with corn on mm -hmm. his head. So the little girls were like looking at me like, corn dog, do you get it? Ah! Yeah. They were so cute. But um, yeah, but the ones we had at Smorgasburg didn't even have a hot dog inside of it. Remember, yeah. it was just like cheese. Yeah. And it was covered in potato pieces. Um, but again, they have all these different varieties of them. Was then, that a Korean like uh, cart that we went to that time at um? Yes, that was all right. Yeah, and then uh, the ones that we tried at the Queen's Night Market International. <clears throat> um, that was like. Then again, it was because we. I mean, I know I got like one that was like a big mozzarella stick. You know, yeah. so maybe if it had a hot dog in it with everything else, it would have held together. But I mean, it just kind of um, fell apart. It did. It really did fall apart. I felt bad. Yeah, that's not bad, though. It wasn't bad. We're still able to eat it. Yeah. So, so and then I guess we'll have to try the ones at K-Town. Yeah, we definitely got to go there to eat because uh, everything there looked uh, real yeah, good. Some, has some bim bim bop. <laughs> it's my favorite. If what you is know, that? You know. Some bim bim bop? Bim bim bop. What is that? It is Who a, put you on to that? Oh, a good friend of mine. Who might that be? Chewy. Chewy. If you're listening. We love you. We miss you. Hmm. <laughs> um, It's, uh, what do you call those, like, steam pots? Those, like, clay pots that they use to cook? It's mm -hmm. So it's a rice bowl. They, I saw them make it in Ghost. Rice with this Korean beef, but... Babe, oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Korean 
meat like mm -hmm. the seasonings whatever it's just so good so it's rice the beef <clears throat> and then veggies on top and then of yeah. course you got to eat it with the kimchi and that's oh not, they put not to egg. be mistaken for the chi chiwi not chiwi kimchi <laughs> <laughs> um they put an egg in there and mm. it's just chef's kiss yeah. yes mm, nice. so that's one of my fave korean dishes <clears throat> the other my other fave korean dish mm -hmm is talk about i it. can't even remember the name of it it'll come to you should i google it do it okay because now it's, i can tell you it's the one it's a rice cake but it's not the flat ones it's the cylindrical rice cakes that they cook it in a spicy sauce cylindrical cylindrical is that a word it, it, it sounds cylindrical. good that's all that matters it sounds good while you Google Ooh. that, let's open this and do a little cheers, brief cheers. I just need something to wash down the uh, spiciness from. Uh, Tteokbokki. Uh... Tteokbokki. <laughs> oh, you found what it was pretty quick. Yeah, Tteokbokki. It's delicious. So, funny story though, the first time I tried it was because on TikTok, of mm, course. Of course. Um, everyone <clears throat> was eating that with cheese. Mm. Right. I think this was even before they started doing the whole cheese ramen thing. Mm. But so I go in. <laughs> mm. There's a Korean restaurant by my job. Mm. <laughs> and so I went during lunch and I'm like, yeah, can I have? Well, actually, of course, I always look up a menu before I go to a restaurant. Mm. So I looked it up. I walked in there like it's I like knew what father. I was talking about. Yeah, teokboki. I want teokboki. But... It comes with cheese, right? Can you put cheese on it? And he's, he laughed at me. He clearly told me that's only on TikTok. And the reason uh, Koreans don't put cheese on anything, like it's not part of their menus or anything. So he dishes, knew nothing. that was like they a TikTok thing? Yes, he so. knew. And he was like, the reason why they put cheese on it is actually to cut a little bit of the spice. Mm. But he was like, no, we don't use cheese on our food so i was like oh he's like at all period for you and you could go home and put cheese on it and i'm like are you that serious that's what yeah. he told you yeah yeah no lie that's funny yeah so turns out i didn't know what i was talking about i'm like yeah teal buki with cheese and i got laughed at <laughs> <laughs> salut baby what is it what is it about which what is this by the way sake okay jelly so shots. for the podcast got this from the uh, supermarket yesterday too h mart h town h mart i mean it's My technically God. a wine product. Saki it's sake in a can. Shot. Yeah, it's sake in a can. I got the mixed it says berry. wine product. She got the peach. peach. He got mixed berries. We just wanted and, to try it out uh, with the... Uh, and there are many size podcasters. Don't yeah. think that we're over here. This is like, literally a shot, though. Or two oh, shots, okay. maybe. Salud. Salud. What is it with the whole cheese thing? They just don't do cheese, period? Oh, it's good. Yeah. This is good. That was literally a jelly shot. Oh, mine's not jelly. This is jelly. Mine's not jelly. Is it, does yours say jelly shot on it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. It is. That's no weird. wonder the rest of it isn't coming out. So how are we supposed to drink this? I guess squeeze the can. No. That's weird. That's a nice little uh, weird... Because uh, it's a can. We could hurt ourselves. That is weird. I can't believe I thought it was it's literally weird. not a jelly shot. I thought Let it was just... Let me try yours. Mmm. This one's really good too. Yeah. I, I just but can't believe that no it's sense. jelly, no. Yeah, if it's supposed to be a jelly shot, it's in a can. Like you know, it's a soda can, but like the mini ones, a mini right? Soda can. But it's a jello it's shot. A big jello so shot basically. How are we supposed to there are no instructions on this <clears throat> either. Scoop it with like one of those uh slurpy straw oh. spoon things. Well, Serve chilled, we got that, and shake well more than 20 times before serving. I didn't shake mine. It's. No. I thought it was going to explode if I yeah. shook it. Horrible. It's probably why we were sitting Oh, we messed there. up. Well, that's... Real food, real life. Yeah. Wait, let's switch. No, that, was a, good, that was a good... Um, lesson. Know, discovery, good lesson actually. learned. Do we have any more dumplings, by the way? Yeah. Oh, cool. Maybe make some in a little yeah. bit. No, no, you kill that. No, go ahead. Thank you. I won't argue. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up making some a little later. Is that you or Raja? Mm -hmm. By the way, world, <laughs> mm -hmm. we have joining us today 
one of our fur babies. I don't know if I doubt you just heard her grunt right now. <laughs> she just plopped on both of my feet right now. It's my. She's been like that all day. I've been working here all day, and her and Zeus have been at my feet all day. So we have two fur babies. Mm -hmm. We have Raja. They're actually the same age, a few months apart. Zeus is older by a few months. He was October. A few and two years. Now they're both two. He was uh, he was born in October. She was born in December. So Raja here is our English bulldog, and Zeus he's somewhere outside. He's a Frenchie. So you can imagine the fun that goes on here. Yeah. Tons and you know, of fun. honestly, I'm sure she's probably just here waiting for some of this food to Fall. drop. Yeah. yeah. Big week, big, big week. Um, we just got onto Spotify, Apple, uh, Amazon, and Google Podcasts, Please which is follow. good. So I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's another thing we got to do. We got to work on the logo for that. That We just slap something together just so that way it doesn't look empty or ghetto. When it comes to podcasts, I am a big true crime podcast follower. Mm -hmm. And if it's not true crime, obviously it is food stuff. But who knows? Maybe we'll have some true crime. Real food, real episodes. crimes. <laughs> it a falls big, under real life. A big masking tape over real life and then just put real crimes. Crime scene. That's scene. actually something that we should do, though. Not for nothing. There's a lot of different crimes that um, I'd be interested oh, in talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> mm, what about the uh, Chris Watts? Chris Watts and Shanann Watts. You remember that whole thing? No. So Chris Watts was cheating on his wife, right? Um, they had two daughters. Oh, yeah, and yeah, she yeah. Was That's pregnant. the one that they had the documentary on Netflix. I think so. Yeah. Do they have a they documentary actually, on Netflix? They actually... TikTok. I gotta look it. Again with TikTok. Obviously, you can see Karina's obsessed with TikTok. <laughs> but the good thing, I know I'm not the only one. I know we all sit there like mm -hmm. hours and hours and hours. So on TikTok, people actually go and um, look inside the house. Mm. Yeah. The house was empty? Mm hmm. Really? Yeah. Um, But you know the whole story with that, right? Yes. <clears throat> Stuff like that. But yeah, I'm excited because we got the whole Spotify thing uh, going. Yeah, on the, web. the one thing I want to do to figure out is how we do video on Spotify. That's the one thing that I have to figure out. You can't do video on Spotify. <clears throat> you should be able to, I think, because Joe, Joe, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan has his podcast on it. Yeah, I know, but he moved his video from uh, uh, YouTube to Spotify. That was the whole deal, the whole big deal that he had. Maybe just the audio of it. Hmm. I don't know, because Chris, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure Christian told me that it was a video. Well, Christian lied. All right, well then, there you, you go, Christian. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Definitely got a big week ahead of us. Um, I definitely enjoyed this meal. Yeah. So we're going to put something together, wrap it for the next episode, and then we'll talk a little bit more about that, upload everything on Spotify, YouTube, Google, Apple. Everything. Yep. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend yeah. to tell a friend. Thanks for hanging out with the Leftovers crew. Rest in peace, K Slay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I And it, it was over COVID complications, right? Yeah, he was, he was fighting it for four months. He was overweight. He was mm -hmm. probably a smoker. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. If your immune system is just not cut... For it, it could just, I don't know. Mm. But rest, rest in, in peace. peace. Yeah, I used to love listening to him late nights because he always was known for having the battle raps. You want a battle right now? Yeah, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks for hanging out with us Thank again. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back uh, in a few days again. We'll eventually have a set schedule. Yeah. going so you know we're when and where to uh, yeah so it's still the beginning but we definitely got the most important part down packed that's for sure the well eating. she does yeah <laughs> but um all right thanks a lot have a good night and peace Bye.